Hello everybody, welcome to uh, the Mystical Ninja Starring Roman, which is a game which came out on the N64 way back when, and uh, it was kind of uh, a platforming game, a little bit similar to Mario 64, but a lot more mental. In fact, it's completely mental bananas. In fact, I can't even begin to describe what this game is about, it's, it's interesting. Anyway, we'll have a look at it and take a look around. But your life is probably about to. If you've never seen this game before, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, basically, the, this is the main character, the guy on the left, uh, now on the right. That's Soman. That's his uh, sidekick, who is a bit of a pervert, and he likes to go around basically without any clothes on. His special move in the game is to dry hump the floor, which uh, I'll show you in a little bit. The main plot of this game is that the uh, Japan has been taken over by these crazy people who are calling themselves the... Uh, are, these, are they called the, the Spring Dance Dancing? The Sunshine Dancing Group? Basically Japan's been taken over by these nut jobs who want to turn Japan into a giant musical stage. And uh, it's your job to stop them. Which is a perfectly sensible plot. Why is that guy running around at a million miles an hour? Jesus Christ, he's like Lynn for Christie. Whoosh, he's off. No messing about. And he's also running around in circles. He must be doing laps. And you can't keep up with him, Jesus. <laughs> Where is he going? So yeah, I mean, there's a disparity between the NPC models and your model. I mean, like, Goldman's face, Fit N64, is quite nicely modelled. This guy is basically made up of a bunch of very, very large triangles. So there's one interesting thing in this big, wide, pointless open space here is this purple guy will always try and pickpocket you and he robs your money off you, but then you can beat him up again to get, to, to get it back. That was a nice little feature, I thought. Completely pointless. But there you go. The funny thing is, is he's right outside the police station as well. Emergency star blocking use. You can get through by using the chain pipe. What the hell is an emergency star block? In an emergency, making things this difficult is probably not a good idea, is it? Is this possibly the dodgiest crawl move in the whole of video gaming history? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> you can actually crawl through doors like that as well. It's amazing. <laughs> Imagine if you were just going <laughs> everywhere like this. Now, if you ever uh, a little bit stuck and not sure where to go or what to do on this game, uh, there is a handy uh, person who will always bring clarity to you and to your uh, what you should do next. And his name is the person. Teller. This is the guy who will, you come here and it's kind of like a hint system. So you give up ten currency and it tells you what to do next and where to go but my god it doesn't make any sense it appears to be a black man in a bag with a bag over his head and a rather precarious modesty flap although they don't appear to have modeled anything underneath it riding a giant elephant with spikes i don't really understand it to be honest oh no it's not what is that it's just a giant uh, i don't know what it is it's uh, I don't know. I'm just confused. Hello, doggy. So it's probably worth talking about the combat. It's basic, but it's okay. You pick up these dumplings and they restore your health. And uh, you've got a couple of weapons. Firstly, you've got this. I think it's like a pipe that you. Yeah, it's a pipe, isn't it? That you just uh, you can just hit people. You've also got a chain weapon. Uh, oh, you can throw coins as well, but I don't like doing that because it's a waste of currency. And it does come in handy to have some money later on in the game. Yeah. So apparently these. Crazy robot dolls with presents that have cannons in them. And your guess is as good as mine. So apparently this is the biggest mountain in the whole of Japan, Mount Fuji. And I'm sure that is true in real life. I know I'm upscaling this and stuff like that, but my god the texture on that mountain is incredibly low resolution. I've always wanted to climb the blockiest, most low resolution mountain in the whole of Japan. The fuck is this? It's not one of those slinkies that you used to get, although it's for some reason got a demonic face on it. It does look very angry. I think I'm gonna avoid you. You look like you might crush me to death. Oh, mother. That was not good. Ah. Bollocks. So yeah, the platforming's pretty decent. Um, if you if you like Mario 64, then you'll like this. Uh, as long as you can get past the slightly bizarre sense of humour. I mean, it's a it's, it's funny game. It, it, it does make me laugh. But I think you have to be... You have to be the sort of person that appreciates Japanese humour. Or at least uh, has a passive interest or uh, can, you know, put up with the bizarre nature of Japan. 
because it doesn't make sense and nothing about this game makes any sense nothing in Japan makes sense really but this game especially is just so mental bananas that you, you will if, you, if you're the sort of person that likes order and uh, likes things to make sense then this is not the game for you <laughs> I never really understood why this guy has a shop on the inside of a mountain. I mean, of all the places to put a shop, this isn't the most sensible place really, is it? But, there you go. Yes, what are you doing here? That's a good question. I have come to the greatest mountain in Japan so that I could train to become the greatest worker in Japan. Well, that is an inspirational message. Do you have a good pipe? I'm probably betting that you do. I'm honored to hand you my pipe. It attaches to the block with the star mark. So I now have the chain pipe. I'm sure there's some drug reference in there somewhere. <laughs> there has to be. So what do you do when you're on top of the largest mountain in Japan, which is not actually that high? Jump off it, of course. No damage. Oh, we'll go into this random shop because I'm pretty sure some guy in here gives you a map, if I remember correctly. You, man in the corner. I remember you. Speak to me. What's, there you go. Travel merchants. Hey you, you're a traveller. How would you like a map of Japan to assist you on your voyage? I'll sell it to you for a discount. How about it? Uh, yeah, go on then. I like the way you said that with enthusiasm. I like people like you. Here, you can have it no charge. Well, that's fair enough. We'll call this a present. Well, if you want to give strangers presents, that's fine. I received a map of Japan free of charge. Step outside any building and press the star button and you can search the map using the Z button. This little woman's great because she likes to sell me dumplings in order to get me motoring. Sure, I'll try some. Oh, never mind. So this is Japan, apparently. And this is where we started. Uh, where, where the f That's where we started and that's where we are now. So on that basis, you could probably cover the whole of Japan in about 30 minutes. Hi, doggy. You can talk to all the NPCs. My dream has been to get to the top of Mount Fuji and eat rice balls with 100 friends. Okay, so now we have the star pipe which lets you attack at range, like this. Still jogging, I see. My god, this man has incredible stamina. He just doesn't give up. He's an inspiration to us all, truly. Is this kid just walking around in a circle holding a fig leaf? Ah, don't question it, don't question it. Hang on a minute, isn't that the same kid that we just... Don't question it, don't question it, don't question it. You! I have a new pipe now! But the good news is, now we have this magical extending pipe, we can uh, cross the bridge into the castle. And uh, the castles are interesting, let's do that. Uh, in fact, first of all, let's go this way. Oh, let's, there we go. There's these collectibles in the game, uh, which are like... cat dolls inexplicably. I received a silver fortune doll. With three more, your strength gauge will increase by one. So there's little collectibles and things in the game, which is nice. It's something that games didn't do a lot of back in the day, so... Oh, bastard twat, I've got to go all the way around again now. Ah! Okay, third time's the charm. There we go. The camera system can be a little bit finicky. It can just go off on a bit of a tangent sometimes. So the music which is absolutely fantastic in this game has suddenly gone from being very traditional japanese to this kind of weird funky techno stuff and the music in the game is a little bit random but it is really good we're on our way to the castle now which has been taken over by the crazy uh, dancing group which i forget what they're called but this is the transformed castle do i wish to save my adventure in the adventure diary yes i do the present situation will now be saved this is the castle level which is basically where the main this is like the main levels in the game so there's like several castles in the game and you have to get through them uh, destroy all the enemies collect all the coins get to the boss we'll come on to the boss the boss is interesting to say the least uh, the camera can be a little bit odd sometimes i mean like it it's very difficult to and then it will sort of then snap behind you but it takes a few seconds so it can be a bit awkward uh, so yeah, this is your usual dungeon, dungeon crawling type thing, collect the, collect the keys to get onto the next section and all that sort of thing, so... Oh, yeah, the controls are a little bit finicky to be honest. But I have to give it because it's such a fun game, so... 
<sighs> See, I desperately need the camera to go behind me now. Yeah, there we go. Listen, I think you're a nice girl and everything, but I really don't think this day is working out. You keep hitting me on the head with your bunch of flowers. You may be wondering why there's an elephant randomly in the middle of this platform, and there is a good reason for it. I have received the Mr. Elephant, and I now have access to the map showing the inside of the castle. A map of the castle is completely useful to have because you now know where to go. Because it's certainly not a linear platforming game, and you just know anyway. I always wondered what these things were. Are they like big turtles or something, or are they just random floating rocks? Since, since they haven't bothered to model anything under the waterline, it's a bit difficult to tell, really. I used to hate this bit. The floor just randomly starts attacking you. Now I need the silver key, which I think I need to destroy all of these um, floor tiles before I can get the silver key. Which is a bit of a pain in the arse. Just don't... St see, this is where the camera problem comes in, because you can't see what the hell is going on. The camera's always in the worst place sometimes, so you can't actually see the floor or anything. Why are you just shooting the freaking fence? Okay, that's a problem. Um, where's the silver key then? I'm pretty sure you just appeared in the middle of the room after you destroyed the floor tiles. Oh, I'm really confused. You, when you kill those, there's keys supposed to appear in the middle of the room. Am I missing something here? I'm really confused. So if it's not in there, where else could the silver key be? I'm pretty sure it was though. It can't be over there because that's where we got the silver key for that door. Maybe you have to get them within a certain time frame. Come on. There we go. I knew it was something like that. Even though I haven't actually killed all of them, but whatever. I'll take it. Yeah, the strange thing is uh, when you walk back into a room, everything respawns. So like this golden dumpling which gives you four health. You can just go back in and get it again if you just walk out and mess things up. Found that a little bit strange, but never mind. The problem is the enemies do is, do as well, to be fair. So, I've just lost the health bar, but I can just go back in the room again. Pick up the golden dumpling again, and try again. Now we're starting to see hints of the boss now, that's part of his, uh, that's part of his legs or his arm or something. What the hell am I doing? You have to sort of sit down and think to yourself, when the architect of this building was designing it, what was he thinking when he invented this? In fact, I don't fully understand what is going on here. Three billiard balls pushing cloths along the floor to clean it. They have faces, so they must be sort of... I don't know what they're supposed to be. Don't question it, don't question it, don't question it. I received a Mr. Arrow, now the location of the boss will appear on the map. I don't think we need a map, I think it's this way. Oh, we need a silver key. Right, okay, uh, that'll probably be in that door over there. Let's, uh, let's backtrack a little bit. I don't know who designed this castle, but I'm pretty sure he was on acid at the time. Uh, don't question it, don't question it, don't question it. That is a ninja. I don't know where the ninja came from. Well, I suppose that was, well, that's what makes him an effective ninja, I suppose. Well, this looks like a fun room. You know what I was saying before about the, the architect of this castle being on crack? I'm pretty sure this was the uh, peak of his high right here. There's just no functionality to this room, is there? I mean, it's designed to be a trap. This is an interesting room. It's empty, except for one fan heater in this corner. And a lift. Yeah, so this is one of the protagonists, antagonists? This is one of the antagonists of the game. His name is Baron, and as you can see, he's a bit of a shandy bastard. I've come to make Oido Castle a beautiful stage. Stage? What will we need a stage for? Goman, this smells like danger to me. Why don't we just grab the weirdo by the throat and beat him up a bit? Who are you calling a weirdo? It's like canned audience laughter in this, which is really, really strange. Although it's kind of like, uh, it doesn't take itself too seriously this game, so. Don't question it, don't question it, don't question it. <laughs> Why did he just slide out of the room and don't question it, just don't question it. Well, this looks ominous. In fact, this is very ominous. The King Robot Congo. My god. That is supposed to be a giant head with cannons around his neck and a red chin. 
Oh, that's fire, that's fire, that's fire, that's not good. Run away, run away, run away. I have to attack its weak spot for massive damage. Okay, those look like lasers. I don't like lasers. Lasers are bad. Do 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 Disturbing about the way bits of his head just fall off when you when you keep hitting him like that. I mean, he's only got one eyeball left now. Way well, that was uh, that was easy. I find it strange how they've kind of built a building around a robot, or they built a robot around a building. Um, either way, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, what what was the actual function of that robot? And where's the hole in the floor where his head was? Don't question it. Don't question it. Don't question it. I have received the miracle moon in the shape of the moon. Well, it would be. So this would be the princess and the king. We're safe now, thanks to you. Lord, what has become of Oregu Castle? Suddenly, there was this bright light, and the next thing I know, well, look around you. We saw it from the outside. The whole castle transformed when that peach beam hit it. What the hell is a peach beam? Don't question it. I kind of love the self-referencing in this game. It breaks the fourth wall quite a lot. Like, these guards who were here before, if you talk to them now, that's it for us. If only the title of this game was Starring Gatekeeper rather than Starring Gorman, then we'd have a lot more fun. <laughs> I really like that, it's really funny. We'll just keep standing here until you clear the game. Kind of painful, kind of depressing. Yeah, I can feel that. Is it me or is the sea going in both directions? Well, this tunnel is called Tunnel, which is perfectly descriptive. It's kind of creepy how some parts of the game don't have any music and that's done perfectly intentionally and it, it kind of makes this sort of tunnel thing really, really creepy. Does that house have a giant frog's head on top of it? Don't go- Whoa! Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Well, hello. So yeah, there's one thing left to show you before I call this video a day. Um, for some inexplicable reason, Goldman, the main character of the game, uh, has a giant 25-foot robot called Impact. I don't really understand why he has a giant robot himself. I mean, maybe this is just something that people do generally in Japan. Yeah, I don't really know what this is about. Um, don't question it, don't question it, don't question it, don't question it. I mean, the lyrics of this song are just... I don't... <laughs> Like all Japanese songs, there's like loads of random English in it. Break down! Ah! Oh. I just don't... I just don't know anymore. <laughs> oh, this game is so strange. So now there's this uh, random mini game where you have to basically avoid um, destroying people's homes while destroying the enemies. I was never very good at this. Oh yeah, and don't fall down the pit like that. I think this kind of determines how much fuel you'll have when you when you move on to the the, the robot boss battle, which is in a second. Oh! So yeah, the aim of this, if I remember, was to drag him in and then punch him with. Oh, what were the controls again now? Punch, that's right. So I need to hook him with this. Oh, I need to get rid of the bombs as well. The bombs are not good. Hook him with this. Uh, that's bad, that's bad. Oh, it's been a long time since I last played this. In fact, if I remember, you could just basically just win by spamming this. Just drag him in, punch him, and then just do it again. Yeah, um, I think I can see an end coming to this. Die, die, die. See, I'm gonna end here. This is the Mystical Ninja Starring Goldman. It's completely mental bananas, but if you like mental bananas, then you should probably check this game out. And uh, it's from the Nintendo 64. It's just, it's just insane. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video.